A lot of people wonder why we have ducks. We don't have chickens, but we have ducks. And to answer your question, we didn't really plan to get ducks this fast. We moved here in May 2020 and I only brought a, my rabbit because I knew I needed it as a fertilizer for my garden and my dogs. But then my nieces decided to get these ducks in the state of Utah and a few months later they were over the ducks, the smell and the mess. So they travel all the way to the state of Oregon and I decided uh, to build a pen with a mulching system. By mulching the bottom of the pen, I was going to be able to create a little ecosystem underneath that mulch that was going to produce a lot of bugs that my ducks would love. They go and try to get themselves clean in the morning. And without the mud, it really makes a difference on how many times I have to change that water. No, he's not trying to kill her. That's how they made it. Darwin over there with the angel wing, which is that white feather. It's a little jealous of Mr. Donald over there. Who in the duck world, he's a little bit more flashy with all his colors. So, yeah, could be that. By them pooping on it, they would be just fertilizing and mixing with the straw and the mulch. It was going to improve the soil in that area of the yard where eventually I want to grow a garden. Now with duck is it, ducks are kind of messy, as you can see here. There is more mud because I, you know, I don't have enough manure to go around the entire pen. But as I clean it, I will. You know, every few weeks when I clean it, I'll have more and more, and I'll start adding it more. Uh, one of the places that really gets super like bare, like this, as you can see, the clayish soil shows up. It's the entrance of the pen, or to the pen, I should say, right there. But I did a deep layer, and it seems to be working. Now, what I'm doing is kind of preparing these beds. I want to do onions here on this one. And so by cleaning their containers, kind of fertilizing all this organic matter that I have here, and it's becoming soil at the bottom. Now I'm gonna have to add a little bit of soil on top so the seeds will grow, but not too much. And I'll recycle it from some other part of the garden, but that way I don't have to add too much because this, all this organic matter, it's gonna become soil eventually. So every morning I refill the waters and I dump it wherever I want to use next or 
or I want to plant something and that way it's kind of working with it and they do have quite a few they they have another container inside their coop right now that I will take care of but little, little by little as you can see that one still needs more water and that way they have clean water for the entire day because I've noticed that since I started to put this goat barn stuff the water keeps cleaner and I don't have to refill it so much but remember that the rain is coming and once it starts it's um, yeah it starts for good so I want to make sure that everything in this pan see there are some bare spots over there bare spots bare spots so I want to make sure that everything is covered you know, like as well as it is here so when I come do chores in the morning and when I uh, and when they are playing in the water they really are not making it everything super muddy although they do like the mud at night sometimes I don't have the time to do a lot of watering or cleaning and what it makes it easier so they don't get everything wet inside their coop is to have this lid so what I do is I put their water and I put their food in there and it keeps clean and so I don't have to turn on the pump or the generator while I do this at night I fill this up and I leave these three things on top of the coop or one of the garden beds and that way you know everything is ready I just put the food there the water on top on the side and then I put it inside the coop and they go in because they know it's night night time and it makes it easier to do chores at night so I feed them and I'm trying to train them to be out later including the goats that's why they are so loud right now but in the winter time I don't get them out until 8 because it's super dark outside so to me ducks are not only fun but very much hard workers now those girls I'm not sure if they been mating with the boys I'm assuming they are but look they have over I don't know 12 plus eggs there and I am going to try look at look at Mocha she's like why are they doing that well that's what you do to make babies in the duck world so I don't know if they are, but I assume that if that girl, I'm sure, if this girl is with the boys, I'm assuming she's laying the eggs and they're gonna be fertilized. So maybe we'll get just a few ducklings. She's so pretty. Let me show you how close. She's kind of like mindy. Like this, where mighty is gray or blue, how they call it. Um, this one is black and brown, and she has some green feathers in her wings and some green in her head. So, some people think it's because it's a boy, but no, the boys are over there, and you can see they're super green heads. You can see the curl. Can you see the curl? Right there. It's a boy. And this one, can you see his curl? He's a boy too. And this one doesn't have the curl because she's a girl. And she quacks. But some people are like, okay, well, they do make noises. But you can tell what's a boy. 
noise and a girl. So you use them for fertilizer, to improve your earth, you use them in a specific area, so you improve that particular area to plant your next garden. You also eat the eggs, you have fun with their little personalities, and in my case, they go broody. So to me, it's a win-win with ducks. It's just one of those things that I find that without even trying, without even asking, and without even training them, they're doing their job. so sweet inside that box over there my ducks are trying to hatch those eggs which I have no idea if they're fertilized so our do new ducks decided to go with them to keep them company and it's the sweetest thing ever well, that's a male inside a lane box <laughs> and that one right there in the middle is a female but it's so sweet and now she's standing because I'm here and they're guarding the nest but it is so sweet how they all kind of made it into a team I'm trying to get to them without disturbing them but I don't know if you can see them they're in there and they do say it takes a village apparently they know that they're being their little happy self and in another video, I'll share a little bit more about the stories of the ducks that we got from the girls that were getting rid of it or our rescue ducks. And a little bit more about the other ones that we added in July so they could fertilize those eggs and finally go broody, hope, hopefully with fertilized eggs. And that's how I can tell that's Darwin. That's the angel wing or the white feather that he has over there Let's see. none of the rest have that that's donald he's very handsome in the duck world look at it look at his coloring and so the girl does have a little bit of green in her head but can you see it but now it does dark as the boys. So that is why I keep ducks and that is why I think you should have ducks. Some of the things you should keep in mind is that their poop smells. So by adding a little bit of pine shavings every day in their coop on top of the poop, it really contains the smell and it keeps it nice and fresh. You can also add the lime that neutralizes the smell. And it's not terrible, I mean you can let it go for about a week and then add pine shavings and lime if you want to. But to me it's way easier just to do a little sprinkle of pine shavings or straw whatever I have on top of where they pooped the night before and that way it keeps the smell under control and they are in a healthier environment so thank you so much for being here today guys I hope that this video was helpful and I will talk to you guys next time Remember, if you are new around here and you want to keep up with our farm adventures to subscribe, like this video, and if you find it helpful, please share it.